We're returning to Brian or Brylin and Lisa, which uh, last time we talked about them, we found that it's a very, very conservative religious channel, uh, not unlike a lot of the stuff that we usually cover. So let's go ahead and take a listen to this next video, which is about churches that God has promised his wrath on, apparently. Let's get into the fan art section first, and then we will get into everything else. This is a Cirrus Minecraft, uh, Minecraft skin made by CandleX42. And then we have from uh, Rox Cianus, fucking DGens. Hi again. I was going to make fan art sooner, but I had to have my gallbladder removed. Oh, Jesus. And had to push it off for two weeks. So now that I'm feeling stronger, I made my own outfit for this pick, and I kind of kind of to do a little practice. Hope you like it. I like this outfit. This is cool. Salem says, wait, that was too fast. Minecraft skin? Minecraft skin? Minecraft skin. Minecraft skin. There we go. I, um... Salem? This outfit would work on the VKS design so well. <laughs> like, the proportions of this version of the character and this outfit go together really well, and I hate it because I don't have the money for that. Oh my god, Gothic Cirrus! It basically, this is this is your Goth Cirrus. Oh, I want that. I want this outfit. But the next one we have here is from XLR said, it's not the first one I posted, but it is the one I first one I sketched. I present Battle Maiden Cirrus, complete with axe and shield. As always, everyone, thank you all for your fan art submissions. If you want your fan art to be shown in a future video, the best way to do so is to drop it in the fan art section of the Discord. With that all said, let's go ahead and get right into the actual video topic. This one is, I mean, I mean, look at that. It literally says this church is doomed to hell. And up, up, up. There you go, Salem. Just sent it to you. This church is doomed to hell, and then we got a picture of what looks like a drag queen. What do you think they're going to be talking about? Let, let's see here. Let's ignore his coming up thing, because it's not important is into. Howdy y'all, I'm Brylin. You know those moments when you're just like... What took so long? You see a blaring issue with something and you're thinking, how- Sylvia Silica, thank you for redeeming your points for an owl. And Mikachu, thank you for redeeming your points for an ara ara. You fucking degen. How can you just stand there and put up with that continually, continually, continually? You know, one thing about the state of our church system today is there are major congregations take the southern baptist convention for instance you know there's a lot of churches that are a part of the sbc that gain from being a part of the sbc if they weren't a part of the network of churches within the southern baptist convention then it would make it much more difficult for them to survive as a church being a part of a larger denomination where you can be funded by them. And you know, when a denomination makes hundreds of millions of dollars, you gain access to quite a bit. The Daily Grace okay. Company is a wonderful company. Oh no, we're not doing this plug. None of that. None of that. Instead, you should go to ddlgplayground.com where you can get something wonderful to go plug yourself up with. If you like my content and what I do, maybe go there, use coupon code SERIOUS, get 10% off anything in the store, pleasure yourself, have a fun time! Uh, but if you don't like my content, then get stuffed with, you know, some of the stuff on ddlgplayground.com using my coupon code. Just because you hate me doesn't mean you need to pay more money for butt plugs. Anywho. Regular basis. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as well. You know, when you like this video, you... Or like this video. Beep. 
The Methodist denomination is, I don't even know. I get many comments from Methodists on my channel that say, I'm nothing like what you've shown in your videos here showing wild things going on within the Methodist church. And you know, that gives me hope to see those who are Methodists come out and rebuke the absolute evil demonic things going on within a lot of churches within the Methodist all right, we're going to have to speed you up, buddy. Because uh, you're taking a while to get to the point. Denomination. And also seeing stories like this. Flagship Congregation of Tennessee, UMC, votes to leave denomination amid LGB schism. So this is, I guess, Tennessee's largest flagship congregation within the United Methodist Church. Okay. And they're leaving the United Methodist Church because of all the absolute atrocities going on within UMC when it comes to LGB and, and you know, a lot of weird- I like how he just doesn't say LGBT. He just says LGB. I thought it was a misspeak at first when he just said LGB the first time, but then he did it again. Like he's doing it, at that point he's doing it on purpose. Weird stuff within that, within that denomination. To be honest with you, there's only one right answer here. Let's be honest. You know, the Bible tells us, beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. That's 1 John 4, 1. In 2 Corinthians 11, starting in verse 13, for such men are false apostles, deceitful. Okay, he's literally just telling us that some people lie about religion for personal gain. And... That, that that's not news how this stuff to be a part of the church but the thing is is that it's disguised as an angel of light even though i don't see it as much of a disguise it's pretty clear that it's demonic but a lot of people see this stuff within a church and what's pretty clear about okay so he says it, it's pretty clear that it's demonic it's pretty clear it's pretty clear we're four minutes into the video and we don't have what it is uh blue balls flamingo says aren't most people who say lgb pro gay anti-trans yep typically Typically, that's what happens. Think, oh, you know, they're so accepting and loving. And it says, so it is no surprise if his servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness. You know, these people that disguise themselves as pastors or church leaders or Christian leaders that are a part of these kinds of LGB drag shows within the church and bring... He, again, he does it again. He refuses to say the T part. Why does he refuse to say the T part? That's weird. But isn't it very strange that we're almost at the five minute mark and we still don't know what the fuck he's talking about. Bringing children to witness this kind of stuff. Their end will correspond with their deeds. Do you see that there? They will not escape. The oh, he did say drag shows though, as if there's a lot of drag shows happening in churches these days. The wrath and judgment of God. They are of the devil. And let's not forget about the Methodist University. This, this is, you know, a, a Christian university, right? I mean. Look, oh wow, look at all the, the community, everything going on, everybody loves each other, it's just so full of love and the truth of God's word, it's gotta be, look at all this community. Oh, and Chick-fil-A, they are definitely Christian. I mean, all signs are pointing towards a biblical Christian school where you can go and learn about Christ and... Wait, wait, what? Ah, But this is the thing that... You so, what's the problem here? Did you know there are trans Christians? Did you know there's gay Christians? Did you know there's Christians who are black like like what's the issue here what's the problem because i don't quite understand the problem here so i know what he thinks is demonic about the lgbtq community yeah he thinks it's the butt sex he doesn't like the butt sex Christian universities are extremely dangerous because most of them do not hold to biblical values. And you see this kind of stuff, Happy Pride Month from... I like how Christian universities are dangerous to him because they just don't follow the Bible perfectly enough. Whereas I think Christian universities are dangerous because they indoctrinate people into stupid things like believing the world is 6,000 years old and denying science. I don't know. I feel like mine's a little more tangible. I, I care more about the the things that happen in the real world than people's opinions on the only book they care about. Methodist University. This is the type of things that your kids are going to learn when they go off to college to be indoctrinated. So just for some context, here's a little taste of what United Methodist Church 
is into. Okay. I am really uncomfortable with the story of the crucifixion, with like analogies of the cross and metaphors and all that symbology. Because to me, it's hard to move past the idea of the cross as anything but a torturous death trap, a death thing. Loving creator, holy one. Okay, so, I mean, I'm going to be honest, I actually agree with that take. Even when I was a Christian, looking at the cross, thinking about the cross... I never really understood wearing crosses or venerating crosses because you basically were venerating the thing that killed your savior. And while I understand that like his death was part of the plan, we still shit on Judas, and yet Judas directly enabled the plan to happen. And Eva of the world. We confess that we have demanded too much from the earth. We confess to, to the sins of racism. Sexism, homophobia. I can barely hear. We confess to the sins of racism, sexism, homophobia, all that. Okay, cool. It's just a a drag performer talking about things that are important socially and talking about them as if they are sins specifically. Okay, cool. I don't want to raise the volume too high because if I do, then when it gets to his video... Uh, it's going to be fucked. Transphobia, ableism, fatphobia, American imperialism, and Christian supremacy. Okay. We want to make sure that so what's everyone the issue? knows that all are welcome here. Pride isn't a place. It's a feeling of being proud. The pride flag represents being proud of who you are. Let's start with gay. Someone who's gay is attracted to people who are the same gender as them. Mike Stevens. So what's the problem so far? He's it's literally just you saw a couple of drag queens at a church, and I guarantee you your church probably has at least one drag performer in it. They just don't want to tell you. Um, and then you've got a handful of people talking about gay issues in church. I don't I don't see the issue. I don't see the problem. I can see how some of that might be uncomfortable for somebody, but if you're able to talk about persecuted gay people in church, you should be able to talk about uplifting them in church. I feel like if one is valid, the other probably should be. Director of Communications for Christ Church Memphis told the Christian Post that the vote was driven by decades of failed efforts to reconcile firmly held foundational but oppositional beliefs among member churches within the UMC. We believe that disaffiliation from the United Methodist Church is the best path forward for Christ Church as we seek to proliferate the gospel and make disciples. Amen. Right on. I pray that this church is sincere in wanting to honor God and, you know, his word. There is <laughs> there is truth and it's laid out in God's word. A conf uh -huh. I'm sure it is. Ignoring all the things that the Bible gets wrong, because there's quite a lot of them. So aren't we supposed to wear our best to church? Drag outfits usually cost a lot. Yeah. Imagine that. Is that his inflection is strange? His inflection is very... It's very dude bro jock. Trying to play the part of educational nerd. It's very weird. Conference spokesperson emailed Christian Post a statement from Bishop Bill McAlley, who referred to Christ Church as being a flagship congregation in Memphis. We are saddened by their decision to depart, as we are any time a congregation willfully chooses to leave the United Methodist Church family. So this makes it sound like they're quite used to churches maybe saying, hey, you know what, you guys are nuts, we're out of here. And they're not saying... That's not what that means. That doesn't mean they're used to it, that doesn't mean anything, it's just, that's basic corporate lingo. We are sad whenever an employee leaves. We are sad whenever a student leaves. We are sad whenever a church leaves. This is basic corporate lingo, my guy. Sad, and they're losing people that they look at as bigots anyway. You know, if you're not in full compliance, full acceptance of the evil atrocities that a lot of Methodist churches are bringing into their church. Again, what evil atrocities? Are we just talking about drag people existing? Are we talking about trans people existing? Are we talking about gay people existing? Like, are these the evils here? We're not very... Like, you gave some examples, you showed some video, but you haven't said anything, and I'm sure that's deliberate because you don't want YouTube getting down your throat about it. But you haven't said anything of substance. You've just said that LGBT, L, or rather, you've said LGB churches are evil without giving a good reason why then you're, you're a bigot. You're a part of the issue. You do not deserve to even live. That's the mindset that our society is turning into. And uh, pretty sure most society is okay with bigots living so long as they reconcile and learn. There's very few people who want bigots to just die. There are a few people who have been thoroughly scorned, 
by bigots, whether they be family members or church members or uh, potential ex-friends. There are people who do not like bigots a lot, and there are some people that wish that they would alive into Minecraft. But for the most part, most people are reasonable enough to want to change their minds. Most of them. Oh my god, look at that. Somebody comes in and says, just admit you work for the Jews. Gazebo, do yourself a favor and just admit that you work for your mom. And then listen to this real quick, the absolute insane answer here. McCallily added that he believes there are many misrepresentations of United Methodist Church theology presented to this and other United Methodist congregations by persons who wish to paint a false narrative of who we are. So it's all just a big misunderstanding, right? Well, wait, he continues. The UMC is a biblical, diverse, inclusive. <laughs> so what's wrong with diversity and inclusion? I could spend time sitting here like hammering over the details specifically but, I mean, realistically, hold on a second, what? What has happened here in chat? I've seen a thing. I need to check this thread. Okay, anyway. Not super important. Crow, thank you for redeeming your points for an owl. Owl. Um, but I just want to know, what's the issue with inclusivity? What's the issue with being diverse? Like, do me a favor. Actually, tell me the problems with those things. Diversity is about diversity of opinion, but it's also about diversity of races. Uh, when we're talking about inclusivity, we're usually talking about letting people who are minorities in, whether they be sexual minorities, gendered minorities, or racial minorities. There's not really an issue with either of those things, by and large. So I have to wonder... Why are those things issues to him? No, no, you know what? The issue is you. You're just trying to make it sound like, you know, we, we believe in all this weird stuff when really we're diverse and inclusive. So they're diverse, inclusive, and they claim biblical as well, and a spirit-filled denomination grounded in scripture and of the teachings of Jesus Christ. If there wasn't a more insane sentence I have ever seen in my life, I'm glad to And you've probably spoken most of them. ...see a church say, you know what? We're out of here. We're not putting up with this anymore. This isn't of Christ and... God's truth is more important to us. I pray that this church stands firm God. in the word of God. He pulls that prop Bible up so much. It's kind of agitating. Agamotto, thank you for redeeming your points for... I don't know, I don't know, fucking DJ. But, like, he literally, he's pulled it up about four separate times in here to fondle the damn thing. God, and truly honors God within their church. But hey, let me know your thoughts about all this in the comments. Oh, that's it. it he... So he will not voice his own problems. He vague posts about his own problems. He'll show a couple of clips about it and then say, aha, you get the idea, right? But when it comes to actually, like, talking about the issues he has with churches being inclusive or having LGBTQ issues or anything like that, we don't get a whole lot of information there. I feel like that's deliberate. It's a very cowardly way out. If he's more specific, he might get knocked off of YouTube, for instance. He might get demonetized. Same reason that I don't talk about things like violence, for instance. But anywho. Anyways. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this whole nothing burger. Because that's what it is. A church left a giant Methodist organization of churches and he's dick sucking them because they hate the gay people just like he does oh and he's scared of saying trans he's apparently scared of saying trans that's another thing that happened in this so let me know you guys think in the comment section below and hopefully y'all are having a wonderful day hit the like button if you haven't already subscribe if you haven't already and as always everyone insert end of video tagline here